Hallelujah. Should be on. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Should be on. Amen. Oh, so I'm doing this by yourself here, but you know what? I'm staying faithful. Faithful to what God has called me to do is to come and to encourage you and to let you know that we're here for you at Love Wings Ministry Studios and those watching us live on Facebook and also on YouTube. And those on YouTube, please subscribe. Amen. But God is good. Amen. I know we had a lot of turkey <laughs> this week of Thanksgiving. Amen. And I'm just grateful and thankful as I was sharing before. It's so beautiful that around the world, everybody was just sitting together with their families and just thanking God and thanking the Lord to make it another year. Amen. That's a blessing in itself. <laughs> but again, I'm so you know, uh, thankful to the Lord because he keeps us and he sustains us and, and those that have a relationship with him, an intimate relationship, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And serving him has been the greatest thing and having him in my life has been the greatest thing in the world. And, and for those that are, excuse me, out there. But I just come again here. I see someone is on there already. Hey, Selena, I love you, Selena. God bless you and the Williams family. Amen. And always in my heart, always praying for you guys, and I'm so thankful for you. Amen. And I've prayed many blessings upon you and the family for because we hear your family. Amen. And I'm just keep doing what I'm doing. Amen. To share the good news, which is the love of God. Hallelujah. I see you're on there. I see Amita's on there too. I see uh, somebody else coming on. Donny, Donny, God bless you, Don. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. I pray that everything's going well. I know you're a strong woman of God and God is using you. But remember us. Remember us here. We're here for you also. And I hope to see you and that you would come visit us. And you too, Selena, and all of those out there that have been such a blessing to me and Natasha and the family, and you're my family, amen, and that's what I'm talking about. We, you know, we go through life, and, and life is seasonal. We go through our ups and downs, but, you know, relationships are so important, and I'm always sharing about that because to me, as I'm always saying, I'm going to continue to say that those individuals that God put in your life, you're to minister to, they, you know, you're, you're to encourage and to build up and to have an intimate relationship in a spiritual way now <laughs> with, with them, amen, and loving them as we love the Father, as Jesus said. He said uh, that he prayed, he prayed, he said, let, let, Father, let them be one as we are one. That is so important. And I carry that in my heart and in my, in my spirit all the time and just saying, Lord, thank you because I'm hungry and thirsty for more knowledge and righteousness and the truth. And I tell people, you work with what you got, man, because, you know, we got the greatest gift of all is God. We have the, a, a relationship with the Lord. Amen. And, and you know what? We have access to our Father, which uh, through Christ made it possible for all of us. But I want to read some scripture, of course. Amen. I want to encourage you and and, and again, I invite those that are out there that could come visit us. Amen. No matter where you're at and you ever in Port St. Lucie or down here, we're still in Port St. Lucie. We're at a new area, studio that God has opened up over a year now and a half. But we have a small sanctuary and we do our services on Sunday, which I'm pretty sure you know. Just got the new cards. Amen. For those that are out there. <laughs> Just got our new cards, and I'm so happy my daughter designed it for me. Amen. And I'm so happy, you know, that we're still here. Amen. I'm happy I'm still here. <laughs> that God is still using me because that is the greatest thing that we can do. Because once you have the Lord inside you, you know what I'm talking about. When you have a true intimate relationship with God and you think of your life, even as we sat down this week and and everywhere around the world, they were having Thanksgiving dinner with their family and friends. And I said, man, take that opportunity, not only to be thankful for what God has done, but also uh, to do what God has called us to do, to, to share the truth with those loved ones and friends that God has put in our lives, my brothers and sisters, because that's so important. 
Again, I want to give a shout out to Full Gospel Tabernacle and Far Rockaway. Amen. And all those there that continue to support me and, and love me and I continue to love them. And that's what I'm talking about. You meet people in your life and you become an extension of God's, uh, uh, what's the word I can use, Lord? Of God's presence, not only in our life, but the corporate body. And we all came out of there. And like Donnie knows, amen, and all of us out here, amen. Just keeping on doing what God has called us to do, which is sharing the truth, amen. But let me read a scripture, amen. John chapter 12, and you probably know it, but I want to say John chapter 12, verse 44. Then Jesus cried out and said, He who believes in me, believe not in me, but in him who has sent me. And he who sees me, sees him who sent me. Amen. Verse 46, I come as a light into the world that whoever believes in me should should abide should not abide rather in the darkness amen and if anyone's heart here i'm sorry anyone hears my word and does does not believe i do not judge him for i did not come to judge the world but to what to save the world amen and that's what we're here for that's what i'm here for I'm just taking the great advice that we could all have. I was sharing that on Sunday. Uh, about two Sundays ago, I was giving a message that God has given me and to be alert and on God at all times because we don't know when, when the Lord's coming. Amen. Or we don't know if it's, this is our last day. Amen. But let's be productive in our lives. Let's be good stewards of what God has called us to. That's how we show our love for God. That's what I do in my interpretation and revelation of that. It's how you live your life and how we carry ourselves because that's so important. Because like I said, I don't represent me. I represent him that is in me, even as Jesus is saying here, man. Uh, uh, you know, I, I come because he sent me. Amen. And when we have that... Uh, uh, except Christ and Christ has given us access to be able to speak to Father himself, amen, and has opened the door, so to speak, as the veil was uh, opened, that we could have a dialogue and access to God, amen, and, and finding out his will for our lives, amen, but also uh, what he wants us to do while we're here on earth. And to me, it's so simple, and I'm a very simple person, it's saying, you know, just, just man, love one another, encourage uh, build one another up and share what you have. Be a giver because God was a giver. Amen. And I was sharing that on this Sunday past. I was saying that we know that also God promises in his word. And I was thinking about Jeremiah verse 29. I mean, uh, chapter rather 29 verse 13. Again, God has promised us in his word. And it's so powerful when we get into this word, my brothers and sisters. I want to encourage you uh, to, to not only to uh, apply it when you go to service or classes, but apply it. I don't mean apply. What I meant to say is this, my brother. Empower yourself every day, every morning with the Word of God, man. It will sustain you. It will keep you. It would, Man, it, it makes you stronger and gives you more hunger. I tell you, I want more. I want everything God has for me. Amen. But also I realize that what God has given me, I'm to give out too. Amen. So because, you know, uh, uh, he's the giver and we're a receiver. But once we receive, we're to give. It's that simple. It's the ABC to me. But let me say this again. Uh, God had promise, promises in his word in Jeremiah 29, verse 13. And he says, and you will seek me and find me. When you search for me, with what? With all your heart. With all your heart. I say that because, you know, and believe me, I don't come to, to, to discourage anyone, but to encourage and to build up as I built up myself. Amen. I believe that what God has given us, you know, we're to, 
to give, to be givers also. Amen. As, as to do as Jesus did. Amen. But again, he says, what, Jeremiah, in Jeremiah 29, 13, and you will seek me, he says, and you will find me when you search for me with all your heart. That's the most important thing, with all your heart. And we also know, and I've said it a million times, I'm going to say it again. You know a person, by the way they live, how they live their life, what they love the most. And that's a question that I ask myself all the time, and I continue to apply that word into my life because it, it, it reminds me, it sustains me, it keeps me, amen, and it gives me wisdom, period, amen. It gives me wisdom to stay on track, amen, in the presence of God every day of my life and also having a thanksgiving heart that I know that I know that I'm not walking alone. You see what I'm saying? I'm not in this by myself because you know what I'm doing? I'm ushering the presence of God constantly into my life, having a dialogue with him. How magnificent is God that God can be in every place and every heart at the same time? Amen. When we just say the name of Jesus, when we say that name, see, things happen, man. The atmosphere changes. Amen. You know that's true. And even our circumstances especially those times when we're going through something, we say the name of Jesus, it brings us a peace, it brings us an inner strength. Because see, what we call on the Holy Spirit, when those that have received Him in, his, in our hearts, what happens is it, 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 it manifests, it, 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 it grows, amen, within us and gives us strength. Believe me, I'm not just telling you this, I'm you know, just sharing, I'm, I experienced this in my life, over and over so many times in my life. I've seen death, and for those that know me, and those that might have just put uh, got on the channel right now, maybe see and say what this guy's talking about. Amen. I'm talking about the good news, the loving, breaking news that God loves us every day. He's with us. He sustains us. He keeps us. Again, but it says here, like Jeremiah said, man, if you seek me, you will find me if you search for me with all your heart. You got to totally surrender it to God. Amen. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you got to totally surrender it to God. No matter what you're going through, my sister, my brother, I know we're facing times that sometimes things seem uncertain. Uh, sometimes things seem impossible, but we know that we serve a mighty God and that we know that through Christ, we have the strength, and He has opened the door for you and I that we're not in this alone. He's just saying, like I'm always saying, put it in my hands. Amen. Trust me. That's the whole thing, man, is trusting and believing with all your heart and just trusting God. And then, but also, man, you got to stay consistent. And that's why I'm here, and I try to stay consistent in everything that I do, and I try to do the best I can with what I have because I want to honor God, and also I just want to uh, 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 just do what God called us all to do, to share the good news, to share the loving news. That's why I have this backdrop, and this, as I'm in a radio, I mean a, a studio here, just sharing the good news of God's love, amen, and, and being consistent. And not only in um, the ministry, but in my life, amen, in my family. That's what we, because we're so grateful and thankful. But you know, one thing we've learned, my brothers and sisters, that even as I was saying, we want to be ready because we don't know the time or the place when he's coming. Amen. I don't know if today might be my last day. I keep saying these things because I want to, you know, uh, uh, encourage you, amen, but also remind you and warn you because the Word gives us power, it gives us direction, but it also warns us, amen. It warns us uh, that to do things right and knowing that, man, to be ready, to be ready, He can come at any time, amen. And I say that sincerely, are you ready? I question myself every day. So I say, I'm not going to take a chance. I'm going to keep plugged in. I'm going to keep plugged in. I'm going to keep moving forward. I'm going to stay active. Amen. I don't got time to waste. Amen. And, and the older that I get, we get wisdom. So we should know that we should get more busier. Amen. You know, a lot of people think of a retirement. Amen. That when you get a certain age, you're just going to retire. No, man. You This when you need to get more active. Amen. <laughs> 
because your time is coming to an end soon. Amen. I'm straight up. Your time might be coming to an end, so you better get yourself right. Amen. And, and stay more active. Amen. <laughs> and loving those individuals that God put in your life, because that is so important. That's our ministry. That's what Jesus said, man. You know, he says, as I do to you, do unto others, period. As I do to you, do unto others. And I know that you're doing it out there. You know, I know a lot of my sisters are out there, Carmen Ebank, all of you guys out there uh, that pray for me. And I'm so blessed by knowing you and, and having a, a relationship with you, as I do with Christ. And Christ said, well, you know, I put my sister, I put my brother in your life. You're to love them and care them. Like uh, Joy Azario, uh, Marilyn, uh, 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 Charles, uh, Reuben, uh, Jeanette, uh, all these people, even my own family, you know, because they are my family. You're my family. And believe me, God knows what he does when he puts a group of people together. Amen. He knows that as he does that, he starts purifying our hearts when we have an intimate relationship with him. But he also, uh, you know, we, we're not just talking to talk, we're walking to walk because we minister to one another. And then the Bible said, then when they see us as one, then the world will see that he's still God. He's still in control. Amen. And, 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 and we are his children, the disciples. We are the light. We're to continue the good work that Jesus started. Amen. Setting the captive free, healing the sick, opening up the eyes of those that are blind. Amen. And that's something that I take serious in my life because it is a life thing. This is my life. Amen. And what better life to have, man, that knowing that Christ is within you, that you have the Holy Spirit and all the gifts that God wants to pour more into you. He wants to overflow you, my sister, my brother. No matter what you're going through, man, remember that you are that child. You are a raw priesthood. I keep reminding people as us, I remind myself that we've been chosen by God that he entrusted us to, sh to share love. To me, the word has always been love, how we carry ourselves, how we share the, the love that he's given us. You see that? And, and let it overflow. See, we can change the things in this world. You see, because he's given us, the Bible says he's given us power and authority for all things. Is that we've got to really believe it, my brothers and sisters. We really got to believe it, but also we got to really apply it every day of our lives and those that we interact with amen back and forth our mission is to just show love amen not so you know religious thing is a is a love thing to me you know having a relationship with god is a love thing is that i know that he loves me you know i have a father in heaven amen that cares about everything my jesus that cares about everything in my life and I know that he has no favorite. He loves all of us the same. What a God we serve, man. Oh, hallelujah. I just think of that and I get so thankful. And this, you know, and then when I start reading the word, and I start saying, man, yeah, man, uh, yeah, seek him, man. Uh, and you will find him, but search for him with all your heart. So, see, I know what to do, how to apply it, amen. And it says, but it is not just enough to seek the Lord. You must seek him first. First what? It says, Jesus said it. He said, but it is not enough to just seek the Lord. He says, you must seek first what? Jesus said, seek first what? The kingdom of God. That's what I was sharing Sunday that God gave me a message. I said, what do we do? The kingdom of God. Jesus is giving us that and telling us, advising us that what we need to do. Oh, hallelujah. And that's a question that I ask. Number one is that we must first think first, meaning putting the Father first in every area that we do. Every decision that I make, I could only share this and be a testimony. And I hope that you receive it. That what I'm saying is that not that I'm perfect, but I've learned in my life to in everything that I do. I go to the Father and ask him, is this, first thing, I don't just say because I want to do it. I've learned to turn that around as I got into the scripture, start getting wisdom. I said, you know, as Jesus said, 
And just seek me first. Seek first the kingdom of God, as he told all of us. Seek what God's opinion is in your life of the decision that you're making, my sister, my brother. You see what I'm saying? Because we know that the enemy's out there. He could disguise himself and disguise things to try to, uh, not to try, that. well, yes, let me put it that way. He's trying to seduce you, amen, as he did Eve, amen, and Adam, both, amen. I can say that because he, he, you know, that's what he wants to do, amen. But we know that if we have the word and God has, has spoken to us and sent Jesus, I mean, what else can we say, amen. Just do the right thing. Do, the, do, do what God calls us. Number one, first thing that we should always mean, first means that what, what that verse means is what? Put God first in everything. And when you learn to just ask the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ and you go to the Father and you say, Father, should I go here? Should I take this job? Should I get into this relationship with this person? Amen. Sometimes we... We know that we're not fighting against spiritual battle, the Bible says, right? We're fighting against principality, things in the air, but also we fight against our own flesh, amen, every day, amen. And that's what the enemy wants to use. You see what I'm saying? But we got to remember that we got to apply this word, remember the word by renewing our mind daily that will sustain us. That's being active, amen. That's keeping up. And strength, and, and to me, that's being on God, as the Bible says, being ready that when, when the trumpet of Zion sounds and he comes, if it's now or when you, or, or, or this might be your last day on earth and mine, amen. We don't know. We got to all meet that destiny one day, amen. You know, uh, so I, when I think of those things, because, man, I faced it, amen, a few times, and I've gotten wisdom and say, man, I don't know if I'm going to make it tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be here tomorrow, but, man, I'm going to be ready, and I'm going to be, you know what? I'm going to be ready. Amen. I was joking with everybody on Sunday because, you know, I like to be real. Amen. I said, you know, I'm going to be like Superman. Amen. That's, you know, my mindset. Amen. (laughs) You know, uh, I'm going to heavenly places. You know, I'm believing because, you know what? I'm learning every day to trust the Word of God more to, and the promises that He has. And I continue to empower myself with the Word, amen, uh, myself, amen. I start digging into the Scriptures every day, amen. And, and I just start thanking the Lord and having conversations as I'm doing with you right now on social media. Those basic elements, those basic things that I do in my life. And that's how I keep myself active and moving forward. But number one, again, the first thing means putting the Father first. Number two, the Bible says in Hebrews that we know it, verse 11, verse, I mean, chapter 11, verse 6 says that without faith, it is impossible. It is impossible to please God. So we know we got to have faith. We got to have truth. Amen. In our hearts. Amen. To be able to. For God to do those things that seem, might seem impossible to you and to me, but to him is not. Amen. Hallelujah. When I think of that, man, I'm just so overwhelmed with thanksgiving. You, you, you know what I mean? I'm overwhelmed with thanksgiving. And those that out there know what I'm talking about. Because regardless of what we go through in life, man, We know we're not in it alone. He just said, put it in my hands. And when he said that in the scriptures we read, just put it in my hand and trust him. That's it. It's all about trust and having a true intimate relationship that comes from the heart. Amen. Jesus wants the first moment of every day. Amen. Remember that, that Jesus wants us to have the first moment of every day. Jesus wants the first day of every week. Jesus wants the first part of every paycheck you get. (laughs) Amen. I threw that one in there. Amen. Because it's the truth. Don't let anything become an idol. What's more valuable to you? It's doing what the word says. So, you know what? You know, and I always say, if you don't plant, you're not going to receive. The Bible said uh, 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 simply that uh, you got to plant in order to receive. And what you plant, see? is what you receive back. Amen. 
And I'm just, I'm just using that as money because that's one of the biggest issues, amen, that people face today, amen. But also we know in the scripture said, let there be plenty for in the house for those that don't have. And to keep the word of God moving, amen, in the place where that really is for you and I, where we could come and fellowship and those that God has appointed to minister are there. Amen. They got to eat too. Let me put it that way simply. Amen. Remember, we're to be givers as God is givers. Amen. But not only our finances, our lives. That's why it boggles my mind. I was sharing on Sunday I think the Sunday before, two Sundays ago, and I was sharing that it still boggles my mind, or three Sundays ago, I think I was saying it in my message, that even to come, keeping the Sabbath day holy, whichever Sabbath day is yours, I'm not here to debate with Sabbath day, some say Saturday, Sunday to me is every day, amen, I mean say that clearly, but what I want to say is this, that not to forsake the assembling of ourselves, coming together in a place of worship and worshiping God together. And I was saying it's so sad that, and I, and I think of how, how the Bible says that the righteousness is looking down from heaven. And this is my mindset interpretation that he looks down and, uh, and those that he has appointed, you know, pastors and teachers and all these gifts, that he's given us that we're to share and to mentor people because that's what we're called to do, all of us, not just pastors, all of us. We're to uh, uh, share the love of God, amen. To me, it's just simply sharing the love of God and, and being there because when they're in need, God is going to use you, my sister or my brother, to fulfill that need, amen, because he's going to bless you Amen. Because you've been faithful, because you put him first, then he'll 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 use you, my sister, my brother, to bless those individuals. Amen. Remember, he loves the sinner and he wants us to love people and have, as we were sharing the other day, the good Samaritan spirit. Amen. But it boggles my mind that we some churches, I mean so many, not no, a lot of churches gotta do programs and all these things. To just to get people to come to church, to spend an hour, two hours on a Sunday or, or, or Saturday, whatever your Sabbath day is. And then uh, Bible study, you got to pull, it's like pulling teeth to get people to come. And you got to do programs or sell cookies or hot dogs or do some kind of event to draw people to come to the church. That's sad. Amen. That's my, my opinion on that. I'm so sad because I, I think about, if we have the Father's heart, what happens that when we have the Word of God, see, we start echoing, let me put it that way, we start echoing His heart, His feelings, amen, because we, we understand, we have an intimate relationship with Him, and He uses us, amen, and because we're intimate, we start feeling how He would feel, Amen. And I, and I think of that. That's my mindset. Amen. And when I think of that and I say, you know, Lord, I never want to not please you. The Bible said that we're to praise and worship him and come with him thanksgiving. We also know the Bible says that he's jealous, that he loves us. Amen. He wants us to praise him. Amen. And to thank him. Amen. Uh, and to me, that's that's part of worship. We worship the Lord. We say it's not just singing. Of it. That's part of it, yes, but worship is you, my sister, my brother, that we worship him every day from our lives with thanksgiving in our heart and dance before him and just bathe in the beauty of his holiness. We say these words, and how do we bathe in the beauty of his holiness? Every day. But it's so important that we're to follow the scriptures as he has ordained us to do. He gave us a commission he also gave us instruction, what we need to do for that commission. Amen. And I say that sincerely because I don't know why. I love breaking bread with my brothers and sisters. I love coming to the house of the Lord. Amen. And, and every Sunday, which is our Sabbath, and we just worship together. We, we pray together. Uh, we share each other's 
heart, amen, uh, 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 feelings of what they're going through. It's like knitting hearts together, amen, as we're knitted with the Father. That's why I'm always saying that God not only wants us to have a relationship with Him, that's the most important first thing that we should do is first seek the kingdom of God and the instructions from God, amen, is to love and to encourage and to build up our brothers and sisters of those that he, that he has put together and also to, to come together and worship God and praise him together, amen. And uh, if someone's down and you're in an atmosphere in a room, you know that, or in a sanctuary and they're worshiping God, man, that is going to infect you, amen, because the presence of God just comes so thick, amen, like a cloud, the Bible says. It come in so thinking, and no matter who's there, man, I know they're going to get, you know, a peace, joy, or deliver from whatever they're going through. Most of all, they'll, they'll have hope in their heart again. Amen. And then they'll feel the love of Jesus through you, my sister, and my brother, and through me. Amen. And that's the most important. That's why I love church, and I and I thank God. And I and like I said, it's it's sad that. We got to do programs and do all kinds of things just to get people to come to church and even to hear the word uh, that God has given uh, that, that person that's ministering or a song that God has given that individual uh, to share or testimonies that God has given those individuals or experiences and wisdom. They become witnesses and testimonies of what God done in their lives. That's why, my brothers and sisters, don't forsake the assembling of yourself. I want to encourage you. Don't let anything stop you. Remember, our God is a healer. Our God is a deliverer. Amen. And most of all, our God loves you. And he wants you to trust him in every area of your life. Amen. And remember when I was sick, I was saying, man, no matter what, I remember that verse. Do I walk in the shadow of death? I will have no fear. I didn't have fear because, you know what, I trusted God. Either way, if I would have went, I know where I was going. If I, and I, but I also know that when, when, you, when you love God and you have a true relationship with God, when you ask Him for those things and you do what He tells us to do in His Word, He says what? I will give you the desires that are in your heart. Amen. And I was sharing that Sunday. I said, man, I'm so grateful because I said I wanted to see my daughters graduate. I wanted to continue to keep doing this, Love Wings Ministry, what he has called me, Love Wings Ministry Studios here, as we minister the gospel and encouraging those here and pushing my brothers and sisters to, to use their gifts and helping them and having a platform where they could come and use their gifts that God has given them, but also to encourage them to build them up, you see? And this is what God is saying to us, man. Let us not forsake that because it is so important that we need to build one another up, to encourage one another, man. It's, it's sad enough that we gotta deal with so many things in the world today and all the things that are happening. And we need a, 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 a you know, that, that time when we meet, uh, what we do here Wednesday night and we study the word and, we, and we're, what we're doing, we're reminding and renewing our mind, but at the same time, we're we're, we're, we're fellowshipping, we're sharing with one another what's happened during the week or, 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 or someone is sick in their family and all these things that then what happens, the body of Christ comes together and we start interceding for that individual, amen, that God has put in your life, amen, or, or, you know what I'm saying? And, and this is a time that is so important, but we empower ourselves more with the presence of God and I can see God looking down from heaven, looking and said, look at my children, are searching the scriptures. They're searching for my direction. They're searching for my truth that I've given them. Amen. You see, that's, that's having an intimate relationship with God. Amen. And again, you know what? The beautiful thing is never too late. Amen. And that's why I said we got to be ready and on guard. Amen. And I want to say this, that the word active means uh, to be, what? Moving forward, period. <laughs> Hallelujah. Again, I just want to just share that and say, you know what? James chapter 4, verse 8 out of the New King James Version says, 
Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Amen. And purify, purify, pur- purify your heart, you double-minded. And we know that we're not double-minded because we know that the word says that a double-minded person is unstable, not in one way, but in all his ways. And this is the beautiful thing of God that he's given us that, that, how can I say this, Father? He's given us that gift that we can say, you know what? I'm going to serve you, Lord. Free will. I'm doing it because I want to have a relationship with you. And I want to do it because I want to share how much I love you. You see, he's given us a choice. Either do good or do bad. It's up to you, my sister, my brother. But we got to remember that he expects us simply. And layman's turn is to do good every day. When we do good, I'm always sharing simple this, that when you do good, not only that you feel good, but you, you're walking in right standard with God. Regardless if it costs you whatever it costs you, because I always say, that, what's more important? How do I seek first the kingdom of God? Is by applying that kingdom mindset every day of my life while I'm here on the earth, that I'm a, a kingdom child. Amen. The kingdom is within me. The Bible says it so many ways of saying it. Amen. We know these scriptures we hear, but do we really understand them and apply them into our life and how important they are, that we need to keep that word active every day of our lives. And I'm just here sincerely, just, and I'm not here, again, down in it. I come here to encourage and to build up. That's it. I come here to encourage and to build you up as I built myself and just doing what God called me to do, to share the good news, to share the loving news. That's why we're here. I'm breaking news that breaks every yoke, every demonic spirit that's out there that's trying to hinder your life, my sister, my brother. We have power and authority. Oh, hallelujah. Father, I just thank you today for giving me this opportunity today. And even as we're coming into this new month, December, which a lot of us celebrated of your birth, Father. And I thank you, Father, that you send your only begotten son, John 3, 16. That you loved him so much, but yet you send him. To wash, to cleanse us from all our sins and to bring us back to right standing with you and giving us another opportunity to get ourselves right. Father, I thank you for that. I thank you for all those that are out there. I pray right now in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, my God, Lord. Father, whatever they might be going through right now, I pray that even these few words that you've given me today to share with my brothers and sisters that are out there and all those that are out there, Father, Lord, as we continue here at Love Wings Ministry Studio, Lord, as many of us, Father, in New York, from all over, Father, that are sharing the full gospel, the full gospel that is you, Father, not half but the truth that sets people free and delivers people every day. Continue to use us here and all my brothers and sisters that are out there, Father, Lord, of those that you have put in their path, Lord. For we know even as your word says that our steps have been ordered by you, Lord. Let us continue to thirst and hunger more than ever in our lives for righteousness, even as we grow more in wisdom in you, Father, and, and, and in age also. Let us get, stay active. Let us be ready and on God at all times, Father, Lord, for we are our brother's keepers, Lord, but also let us be ready, Father, that the day that you come for us, Lord, that we all are ready, Father. I pray that in the name of Jesus. I pray also, Father, that I've stirred the spirit of those that are watching these videos, Lord, as we do them here, Father. Anoint these uh, words of mine, Lord, because they're yours, Father, Lord, and this prayer, my God, 
for all those that are out there, no matter what they're going through, Father, let them put, even as Jesus advises us and says, Father, to first seek you, Father, the kingdom, Father, Lord, which is you, Lord. Father, I pray that for all my those that are watching this video. I pray that you anoint it even right now, Lord, through this Facebook, through YouTube, Father, through social media, my God, Lord. I'm just a vessel here, Father, Lord, and those that come here, Father, Lord, we're just vessels, Father. Use us, mold us, shape us, my God. Father, use us, Father, Lord, to speak your word in truth, Lord. Father, let us bring your righteousness, Father, through our lips, Lord, even as Jesus spoke your word, Father. Use us, my God, Lord. Use our tongues like a two-edged sword, Lord. Father, Lord, to speak life into those that are walking in, in death and in darkness, my God, to bring and to illuminate how your love, Father, Lord, your love has sustained us, my God, that we would be those testimonies, those vessels that would touch so many, Father, that are out there that are going through so much right now, Lord. Father, but we've learned, Father, in having a relationship with you that you give us a peace and a joy, Father. And you make th those things that seem impossible, possible, Father when we seek first your kingdom. Oh, Father, I don't know, Father, Lord, what's out there, Father, and what some of my sisters or brothers might be facing today, Father. But I know for sure one thing, Lord, that you said that if I ask, Father, with a pure heart, that you would answer my request. And I'm asking you, even right now, Lord, that you're turning hearts right now Father, Lord, you're turning the minds of those that are out there that may be going through confusion, my God. Father, they would not have no doubts, Father, but they would know, Father, that you're the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow, that you never change and your love never changes and your forgiveness never changes, Father. I pray that for those that are out there, my God. I pray that what I've said today has stirred their spirit and has tuned their ears, my God, to receive all that you have for them, Lord. How much love that you want to pour more into their lives, Lord. Oh, Father, I pray that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you, Lord. Amen. We serve a mighty God. He's a good God. And I just, I'm just trying my best and just being a vessel, amen, that he can use. I always think of songs that we sing because it's so important, the words that we sing. And, and I remember a song we used to do, and, and I learned it in church, Amen. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Oh, hallelujah. God is a good God. Amen. He loves you. That's all I can say. And that's why we're trying here at Love Wings Ministry Studios to continue to share the truth. And I'm trying my best, my brothers and sisters and those here, man. There's a few of us, but man, we're a loving family and we want to share that love with you through our lives and these programs that we do, Women at the Round Table, uh, break, I love breaking news, amen, uh, in spirit and in truth. And we're looking to do so many more things that God has put inside me, amen. Uh, we just got our van finally fixed. We're still paying for it because uh, thank God God touched a sister and, and uh, it came out to so much financially than what we thought it would be, but God always makes a way. Again, make, God makes things, I'm, I'm not just saying this, man, possible. So uh, we can't wait to start uh, going out and doing uh, ministry. And those that might be here in our community, you'll see us out there uh, by the park. And, and I'm looking to put the lettering back on the van. So if you see us, please 
Give us a wave or stop by. If you need prayer, wherever we're at, we'll stop and pray for you. Amen. And we're looking to do some outreach here in the parks soon, in the individual parks and bringing the word out to you guys. And if we can help in anything, amen, you, you know that we're there. But please come up to us and let us know, amen. And those watching us live, uh, please, you know, let us know that you're watching. Send your comments and also, too, that if you need prayer, amen, just send a request in. And believe me, we're gathered here on Wednesday night. We'll bring that and we'll pray together. All of us that meet here, we'll pray together uh, and intercede for whatever it is, amen, that, that you're in need of and most of all uh, in your family, amen. And, and you can just send that to lovewingsministry at gmail.com. Also, I want to remind you as we got our new card, and let me just read it, amen. In the back it says, uh, we have, well, you know, we go live Sundays at uh, 1130, amen. Uh, and then those that want to come out, we start at 11, amen. And on Wednesday night we have uh, Bible study at 7 p.m. and fellowship, amen. And also you can check us out on YouTube as I, we have it written in our card here. It says uh, you can uh, reach, uh, check us out on YouTube. Uh, and if you go to YouTube, it's Love Wings Ministries. Amen. And please uh, uh, hit that, 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 that button in the bottom there. Uh, we need more viewers. Amen. And also, if you go to Facebook, you just, uh, those that might be watching now, but just I'm just saying this as a, what's written in our card. It says, if you go to Facebook, amen, we do it weekly. Amen. And uh, you can find us, just put love. Wings again, L O V E W I YouTube. It is Love Wings Ministries. I'll spell it L O V E Love and do, and W I N G S and then Ministries is M I N I S T R I E S. At the end is R I E S. I'm just saying that uh, because we have got. Uh, some people have asked me, well, I put in Love Wings. I didn't see you on YouTube. I said, no, you have to put Love Wings Ministries, amen, and you'll see it on YouTube. And please subscribe to that channel, please. And even if you watched it and you haven't subscribed before but you know that, please hit that button for us, amen. Uh, also, again, Love Wings on Facebook, amen, and that's our our new card, which I'm so happy to have uh, and just thankful. So again, this is Pastor Benny here at Love Wings Ministry Studio coming at you live. Amen. And I pray that again that God will continue to bless you in every area. But first, remember what Jesus said. Seek first the kingdom of God. And all these beautiful things come to you. Amen. And serving him and knowing him. Amen. So again, from Pastor Benny, God bless you. I'll see you again. Amen. On Saturday, we have Woman at the Round Table. Amen. Woman at the Round Table. And uh, soon we'll be doing it once a month, I believe, a program with just prayer. And our sister uh, Priscilla will be uh, on, on social media here and in our websites, even though she does it every day. But uh, we're looking to do it here. And uh, she'll be able to uh, you can send you a lot of prayer requests. That'd be a great time to it. And even you can send a comment, but we'll pray for you no matter what what program we have. You know, even if you do it right now, I'll pray for you for whatever situation or even on Sunday. Acknowledge, watch us on Sunday uh, and we'll acknowledge you. Just send a comment and my daughter will definitely uh, 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 will give you a shout out. But also, too, if you need prayer right there, man, we'll stop whatever we got to do. And we'll come into unison and we'll pray. Amen. That's what we're here about. And again, I love you guys. God bless you. Also, one more thing that I keep forgetting and they keep telling me to say, amen. If you can help us, please, amen, uh, plant seed, amen, help us to continue to work here. We're looking to do great things. And this is good soil. And you see what we're doing. We're consistent. We've been doing it 11 years now. Amen. You can send it, uh, your love offering to Cash App, amen. Uh, you can send it right to Cash App, and uh, it says, what is it, dollar sign and Love Wings Ministries. It says Pastor Benny Ramos, but it's a uh, dollar sign Love Wings Ministry. 
God bless you. And I thank God for all those that have been blessing us. Amen. You know who you are. You don't know how much uh, a blessing that is. And, and, and you know, you, you guys are always on time, man. You know, uh, and I'm just so grateful. I want to say that thank you so much. And, and I appreciate it because we couldn't do this without a lot of you out there. If it wasn't for you guys, I couldn't uh, keep up with this stuff. You know how the seasons are financially, but I'm so grateful. And you, you don't know from the bottom of my heart and, and all of us here at Love Wings Ministry is so important. You know, we got to pay for the light. We got to pay for equipment that we're trying to get and and to do better programming and things. And, and, and like I said, our, our van to go out and minister the gospel and be able to fellowship with our sister uh, that has the food in uh, a ministry that we go and pick up food for those that if someone's out there and you might need food or something, please contact us at Love Wings Ministries. Amen. And and uh, we'll work it out somehow. Amen. That's what we're here for. Amen. And now that we have the van, I can, you know, uh, uh, do uh, uh, go out there. Amen. And again, we're looking forward to doing things outside. So when you see us out there, please come say hi. Amen. Come by the van or wherever we're at, park or filming or whatever we're doing, please come on out. And uh, you need prayer, we'll pray for you right there. Amen. And, and, and whatever we have, you know, we're there to serve. Amen. That's what we're here for, to serve and to continue the good work. We're just an extension, like I'm always saying, of a full gospel tabernacle that's out there in New York and many churches out there, they're an extension of each other, helping and, 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 and doing what God has called us to do. Amen. And I pray again for every pastor. Amen. That's out there. I know that the load can get heavy sometimes, but we got to remember we got to keep up the good fight. Amen. And from Pastor Ben again, I love you. God bless you. Amen. Blessings. Amen. Love breaking news. That's a wrap. God bless you.